Let's play some rock and roll rhythm guitar. How about key of B? Hit the big string open, that's E. First fret's F, third fret G, fifth fret A, seventh fret B. That's a root note. Add your ring finger to the ninth fret on the fifth string. Gives you a power chord. That is uh, some power chords doing a downstroke. You can do some, like a scoop into that, like if you slide into it. After you hit that B, you might go to an E. Back to B. How about F sharp? E. Then B. So that power chord, you can move it around. Your most common thing, if you're in the key of B, would be B, E, F sharp, B. I did it different that time for the F sharp, B, E, F sharp, B. Or you can go down here to F sharp, back to B. You should be able to hear that. All right, it's pretty common. Real simple stuff. That's kind of what I specialize in. Keeping it kind of basic, not getting too complicated. Making sure everybody's got your basic things happening. Let's, oh boy, what's this? Pinky getting ready for some rhythm like. Pinky's hitting 11th fret, 5th string on the beat. that B, you might want to take it to E, which we can go down here. Still just hitting the two big strings, and then back to B. F sharp. just come from a B bar chord which is index flat at seven bringing in middle ring pinky now I've got some students that come in with that like whoa incredibly twisted holy schmokies like what make sure just to do simple middle ring pinky let's not change that let's not reinvent the wheel this is a bar chord simple 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 no fancy stuff Index, middle, ring, pinky. Don't reverse these two. Don't reverse the ring and the pinky. Keep it like ring and pinky, middle. With this chord, you can hit two, three, four, five, or six strings. The two big ones are great. It gives you a power chord. Or hit the three big ones. Hit four strings. Here's five. Here's six. Or just the two skinny ones. Three skinny ones. Four skinny ones. Five and six. That's an important shape. You could just take the two skinny strings and lay your first finger flat and you got...
let's add middle finger, third string, uh, eighth fret. It's a triad, it's a major chord. Bring in ring finger. That's how everything works. Simple shapes. All that is is a piece of the bar chord. So that relates to the power chord. Any combination of those notes will give you something you can work with and do something great with. Alright, just looking at a B chord. Simple, simple. Have fun.